On October 29, 2025, while most of the world went about an ordinary day, something extraordinary happened very close to the sun, an object of interstellar origin, officially cataloged as 3i Atlas, and only the third of its kind ever confirmed to have entered our solar system, reached perihelion, the moment of its closest approach to our star. At that instant, it was moving at nearly 68 kilometers per second, faster than any spacecraft humanity has ever built, crossing a region of space where the sun's gravity acts like a vast cosmic engine. For scientists, this was the critical moment, the point at which a single small change could completely rewrite its trajectory. For months astronomers had been waiting for this day, because perihelion is where the laws of motion reveal what kind of traveler 3i Atlas truly is. To the public, speculation had already taken flight, Online discussions compared the object to a probe, a mothership, a comet with engines, and countless other theories. In reality, the scientific community approached it with disciplined curiosity. The question was not whether it was artificial, but what it could teach us about material formed around another star. For professional astronomers, every interstellar visitor is a natural laboratory, a chance to measure chemistry, structure and behavior under the most extreme conditions. Because perihelion, while invisible to the naked eye, exposes an object to the highest radiation, temperature and gravitational stress it will ever experience. In the weeks leading up to that date, observatories across the world coordinated an unprecedented observing campaign. Teams from Chile, Arizona, South Africa, Japan, and the Canary Islands tracked the object nightly until it disappeared into the solar glare. The geometry of its orbit made this inevitable. As it approached the sun, its apparent position moved so close to the solar disk that even the largest telescopes became blind. Once it entered the region known as solar conjunction, ground-based tracking ceased entirely. For several days, the object could not be seen at all. During this period, a wave of amateur reports and online videos claimed that whether satellites such as GOES-19 had captured images of strange flashes or course changes. Scientists immediately addressed these claims, explaining in detail why such detections are not technically possible. GOES-19 is a geostationary weather satellite designed to monitor cloud systems, hurricanes and solar flares affecting Earth. Its imaging instruments, the Advanced Baseline Imager and the Solar Ultraviolet Imager, are not capable of resolving a faint magnitude 12 comet near the sun. Their optical systems are tuned for Earth observation and solar monitoring, not deep space tracking. The brightness contrast between the solar corona and a small object tens of millions of kilometers away is many orders of magnitude beyond the sensor's range. Real astronomical detection requires calibrated timing, star field alignment, and error analysis. Every credible image must be time-stamped, corrected for optical distortion, and compared to the predicted ephemeris, the set of mathematical coordinates that describe where the object should be. Without that chain of verification, an apparent bright pixel or streak means nothing. Hot pixels, cosmic ray hits, and compression artifacts are common in satellite footage and can easily mimic a faint moving point of light. In this case, the most reliable data still came from observatories that tracked 3i Atlas before it entered the glare and from space-based solar probes built for precision astrometry. None of those data sets showed any deviation from the expected path. The Minor Planet Center of the International Astronomical Union later issued a formal statement confirming that no anomalous motion, no unexplained acceleration, and no change in orbital elements had been observed prior to perihelion. That scientific restraint often clashes with the speed of the internet. In the days around October 29th, videos claiming engine burns and course shifts spread rapidly, but professional astronomers evaluate evidence differently. They look for repeatability. Each observation must be reproduced independently using the same raw data and a transparent processing pipeline. As Dr. Ana Garcia of the European Southern Observatory stated, if you can't reproduce the result with independent data and a documented pipeline, it's not science, 
it's speculation. Under that standard, 95% of the viral material collapses immediately. What remains is the slow, methodical work of measurement. At the same time, the physics behind the fascination is real. The sun's gravitational well amplifies motion in a way that makes the region near perihelion uniquely significant. When an object moves fastest, any additional thrust, even a tiny one, multiplies its energy enormously. This phenomenon, known as the Oberth effect, is a cornerstone of orbital mechanics. Spacecraft engineers use it deliberately. When NASA's Parker Solar Probe or the European Space Agency's Bibi Colombo mission perform burns near a planet or the sun, they gain far more velocity than the same burn would provide farther away. The energy gained equals the change in velocity multiplied by the craft's existing speed. At 68 kilometers per second, the kinetic energy of 3i Atlas is immense. If hypothetically, it were a powered craft and executed even a 1 km per second burn at perihelion, that single impulse could alter its outbound trajectory by tens of millions of kilometers over the coming months. For a natural comet, however, thrust comes only from outgassing, the sublimation of volatile ices into jets that nudge the body slightly. Those jets produce changes measured in millimeters per second not kilometers. This is why astronomers will focus intensely on post-perihelion astrometry. When 3i Atlas emerges from behind the Sun in mid-November to December, telescopes will begin measuring its exact position night after night against the background of distant stars. Each data point will be timestamped, cataloged, and compared to gravitational predictions. If its motion deviates by even a few arcseconds, a small fraction of a degree, analysts will calculate a value called delta-v, the change in velocity required to explain the difference. A real burn or acceleration would show as a sharp, consistent divergence from the predicted curve. So far, every observation remains within normal limits. To detect a 1 km per second deviation by March 2026, when the object crosses Jupiter's orbital distance, Telescopes need positional accuracy of about 5 arcseconds, a precision easily achieved by modern observatories and spacecraft like Gaia. A larger burn would create a divergence visible even to moderate instruments. The math is unambiguous. Extraordinary maneuvers leave measurable fingerprints. Anything else is noise. For now, all available evidence indicates that 3i Atlas continues to behave exactly as a natural interstellar comet should. It shows outgassing consistent with ice sublimation, a stable light curve, and no radio emissions or optical pulses inconsistent with known physics. Its orbit follows a hyperbolic trajectory that will carry it back into interstellar space once its swing past the Sun is complete. That trajectory is still perfectly in line with predictions made months ago. Nevertheless, perihelion is a moment of legitimate scientific excitement. It allows instruments to study how sunlight and heat affect material that originated around another star. By analyzing its spectrum, the specific wavelengths of light it reflects and emits, researchers can identify molecules and elements unfamiliar in local comets. 2. Ice Borisov, the previous interstellar visitor, contained unusually high levels of carbon monoxide and cyanide, suggesting it formed in an environment colder than anything in our system. Early measurements of 3i Atlas hint at similar chemistry, rich in carbon dioxide and metallic nickel, but these results require confirmation once new data arrive. Whatever its exact composition, it is a piece of a distant planetary system that now briefly shares space with us. The more dramatic online question, whether it could change course toward Earth, has already been answered by orbital dynamics. At its closest, 3i Atlas will remain roughly 1.8 astronomical units away, more than 160 million miles. That distance is completely safe. The kinetic energy of such an object is enormous, but its path does not intersect ours. The idea that it could suddenly redirect toward Earth defies both geometry and energy requirements. Changing its trajectory, that drastically would demand propulsion, far beyond anything observed in nature or engineering. Even if an advanced civilization existed somewhere out there, Earth would be an inefficient and hazardous destination. Our planet's deep gravity well and complex atmosphere make capture or landing extremely difficult. A body traveling tens of kilometers per second 
would require massive energy expenditure to slow down safely. Mars, with its lower gravity and abundant ice, or the outer moons of Jupiter like Ganymede and Callisto, would be far more logical choices for exploration. Observations confirm that 3I Atlas passed within about 28 million kilometers of Mars earlier this month, without any sign of deceleration or orbital adjustment. Its silence and consistency speak louder than any rumor. Still, its journey is a reminder of how little of our cosmic neighborhood we actually see. Humanity's current ability to monitor small bodies near the sun is limited. Ground telescopes cannot look into the solar glare, and space observatories are few. The days surrounding perihelion expose that weakness. For several critical hours, we are effectively blind to any object too close to the sun's disk. Missions positioned at other vantage points, such as a dedicated solar orbiting observatory, would one day close this gap. Until then, astronomers rely on post-perihelion measurements to reconstruct what happened in that invisible window. As of now, the data tell a consistent story. No course change, no engine burn, no danger, but enormous scientific value. Each interstellar visitor that passes through gives us a sample of material forged around another star, shaped by conditions different from those that formed Earth. It helps researchers refine models of planetary formation, ice chemistry, and the dynamics of debris ejected from distant systems. 3i Atlas, with its mass hundreds of times greater than Borisov's and perhaps millions of times that of Taumuamua, is the largest interstellar object ever recorded. Studying it expands our view of what kinds of bodies populate the spaces between stars. When it reappears from behind the Sun, astronomers will use instruments like the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, and the Vera Rubin Observatory to analyze its brightness, spectrum, and trajectory. If the observed data match predictions, it will confirm that our gravitational models are sound. If a deviation appears, it will trigger one of the most detailed investigations in the history of cometary science. Either outcome deepens our understanding of how the universe works. For the public, the best guidance is patience and discernment. Real discoveries take time and are verified through repetition, not through viral posts. The absence of sensational results is not failure. It is how science protects truth. The astronomers tracking 3i Atlas are not suppressing information. They are ensuring that when results are released, they will stand up to every challenge. So what actually happened at perihelion? Nothing unexpected, and that itself is extraordinary. An object born around another star dove toward the heart of our solar system, survived the furnace of the sun, and continued outward, obeying the same physical laws that govern everything else. Its flight reminds us that the solar system is not isolated. Rocks, ice, and dust cross the interstellar gulf all the time, carrying messages in chemistry instead of words. 3i Atlas is one of those messages, a relic of another sun's creation story passing briefly through ours. In the coming months, as it fades from view and our instruments record its retreat into deep space, it will leave behind not proof of aliens or technology, but something just as profound proof that we can detect track and understand visitors from beyond. That ability, refined through data and reason, is humanity's real signal to the cosmos. We are paying attention. Whether 3i Atlas is a silent rock or a complex assembly of ice and metal, it has already fulfilled its purpose. It has reminded us that the universe is active, that the boundaries between stars are porous, and that discovery begins not with speculation but with careful measurement. It has tested our patience, our skepticism, and our curiosity, the three ingredients that define science itself. As it recedes into the darkness beyond Mars and drifts toward the outer planets, we continue to watch, to calculate, and to learn. The story of 3i Atlas is not one of panic or mystery, but of observation, a quiet demonstration that truth in science emerges not from noise, but from precision. And if someday another visitor appears and it does something truly unexpected, we will know how to tell the difference, because we took the time to get this one right.